a train carried the remains of most victims from Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 from the crash site in rebel-controlled territory to a government-controlled city Tuesday, getting the bodies one step closer to their grieving families around the world. The train traveled from the crash site in rebel-controlled eastern Ukraine and arrived at a rail station in Kharkiv and were taken to a closed military area where the 282 bodies will be put in coffins flown in from the Netherlands. The bodies will eventually be taken to the Netherlands, where most of the passengers were from. But a litany of obstacles remain, not just in handling the remains, but in figuring out how and why MH17 was shot down over eastern Ukraine. Five days after the, the plane carrying 298 people plunged from the sky, here's the latest. The victims as authorities wait to process the 282 bodies, the remains of 16 people were still missing as of Monday, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko told, the Ukrainian government has said 87 body fragments had been recovered from the sprawling crash site, but it's unclear who they may have belonged to. The grisly scene was marred by reports that pro-Russian Ukrainian rebels, who control the area, had looted personal items from the scene and prevented international investigators from entering. Poroshenko said the rebels' conduct was barbaric. But Dutch forensics experts who inspected the train Monday were more or less satisfied with how the bodies were being stored, said Michael Bissierke, the spokesman for monitors from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The remains will be flown to Amsterdam on board a Dutch C-130 Hercules. Officials said. An Australian plane will also be involved in taking the bodies from Ukraine to Holland, Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott said Tuesday. Dutch Foreign Minister Franz Timmermans said bringing the victims' remains home is his country's top priority. To my dying day, I will not understand that it took so much time for the rescue workers to be allowed to do their difficult jobs, he told the UN Security Council on Monday and that human remains should be used in a political game. The black boxes Ukrainian rebels gave Malaysian officials the data recorders from down Flight 17 on Tuesday after days of attempts by the Malaysian government. In recent days, we have been working behind the scenes to establish contact.